and apparently there's an epidemic. Like, what are you supposed to do? Just not upload your content? No doubt that live streaming is in one of the best spots it's ever been in right now. From the A-list celebrities hopping on Kai Sinat's stream to the former president streaming with Aiden Ross, streaming is the biggest it's ever been. But at the same time, streaming is also in one of the worst spots it's ever been. Nah, bro, because that because of this clip farming epidemic. Now, sub, if you're sub. familiar with what clip farming is, it's basically the act of a streamer doing something on stream in order to get a viral clip on TikTok or Twitter, whether that's purposely messing up in a game, playing super hard into a joke, or reading a non-existent chat the hot drop out <coughs> bro cough like an ipad kid all right basically doing oh my god no nah, that's actual cliff farming reading non-existent chats something on oh stream my God, in the uh. hopes of getting a viral clip. And while I do think there is a healthy amount of clip farming you have to do in today's age of streaming to Oh, you success, have to. Some of these clip farmers are going way too far. And when I say way too far, I mean to the point where they're literally sexually harassing people in order to get a viral clip on Twitter. Like, it's getting insane. Now, some people think that clip farming is something new in streaming, when in reality, it's always been a thing. Yeah, it's always been a thing. Is that the clip farming is more prevalent than it was because of how many people stream and how popular streaming has become but it's always been there back then way before tiktok was even a thing some streamers were farming clips to get on live stream fail yeah. which is a subreddit that's dedicated to moments that happen on stream or even some streamers were trying to get into streamer rage compilations so they would rage extra hard like clip farming has always been a thing it's just that it now has a name and when it comes to clip farming i feel like twitch and kick are partially to blame for this epidemic because there is no real way to grow on their platforms so it kind of forces streamers to farm clips. yes and no right uh today's day and age of twitch discoverability is is kind of there like i stream to zero people on twitch but like eventually i'll have like three people join in uh with with a flat zero it's just based on recommendation you get recommended based off your tags and whatnot so i mean discoverability is there but it is a lot easier to clip farm and then just like get get huge on tiktok instagram you know stuff like that and then bring them in to see you react to like react like that in real time i mean it obviously is going to be the easiest way like you hit big on slots for kick i mean people want to see you gamble it, it, it's been like that for a while but i i think just calling everything clip farming is it's not like the correct way to go about it to post to TikTok and Twitter in order to get their name out there. And I feel like that's what's kind of sparking this weird wave of people people doing, people doing illegal stuff just to farm their clip. It, it, that is that is beyond beyond all help and reasoning these crazy things to go viral but like i said there is a healthy amount of clip farming that you have to do in order to grow like for instance queso queso is one of those streamers that i believe has mastered the art of healthy clip farming the way that he came yeah. up was from playing games something would happen in that game and he'd play hard into whatever was happening in that game to make it a funny viral clip no <laughs> Bro, say something else to me. Yo, say something else with an attitude. I promise you're gonna regret it. Now, obviously, when you're playing a game by yeah. yourself, you don't get. Bro, dude, like that game always frustrated me. It always frustrated me. But it, it's like, to be fair, that was a healthy clip farm. But like, would that be considered clip farming if he's not setting it up for that though? That's what I. That's why I'm get, uh, not understanding. There's got to be a line that like that is drawn between what is clip farming and what are just actual highlights from your stream. Loud when something goes wrong in that game. But for entertainment purposes, Queso took it up a notch to sell the clip and make it funnier than what it actually is. And this is something that a lot of streamers do in order to make the streams funny and also the clips even funnier. And I think the beauty of clips like these are that you're killing three birds with one stone. Number one, you're promoting the stream. Number two, you're making people laugh. And number three, you're making people laugh and it's not at the expense of other people, which I know is crazy coming from me, you know, I'd be cooking on children and stuff like yeah. that. But regardless, who slash what are 
are these streamers harming when they make a clip of themselves getting overly hyped when something happens in a game? Another streamer that I think is pretty good at clip farming is Jinxie. Whether you hate him or love him- uh, I don't know, bro. The way he clip farms is a bit excessive. Like, like he said in the beginning, he does create chats to read in his head that don't appear on the screen or do whatever. And then he just sits here and slams his desk, right? Like, this, this is fine. But, like, creating something that doesn't exist and then trying to piggyback off that. To, like, say say I have zero viewers and I'm over here reading a chat that doesn't appear for the sake of entertainment value. I don't think that should be entertainment value. That is, like, clip farming to the max. From his clips, he kind of did the same method that Speed did, where he would always do the craziest thing to get that viral clip. Now, I will say, Jinxie can be cringe with his clip farming sometimes, and he can overdo it. Yeah. I can't stand cats, bro. What do they do? Yeah, like, bro. But it's not to the point where other people are being harmed. Like that that is a hundred percent intentional. Like, ah, we know what you're doing. You're just trying to clip farm. And it can be cringy, but all you can do is really respect it. Cause it's like he makes himself look stupid more than anyone else. He humiliates himself for the content, which I don't really think that's bad. And some no, of that is I think are fun clip farmers friendly are banter. Jay Ronaldo and Lacey. They're like the Kobe and Shadow. Oh god. They're both great alone, but to Bro called it a clip a thon. Oh my god it's a whole different vibe and the thing about them that makes them stand out compared to all these other clip farmers is that they do this awkward clip farming where it's not a bad awkward but it's like an awkward where you can't help but just to laugh like i'm pretty sure we all know about the somebody smells like shit meme somebody smell like shit <laughs> somebody smell like shit <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They just kind of took it over and they started uh, doing it their own way. And every time they say it, it's so awkward, but that's what makes it funny and makes it a viral clip. Y'all didn't even put y'all. Let me see. No, no, me and Connie are doing it. Good. You're like, dude, that's so hard to watch. They do, is they do this clip farming in public as well. And when they do this clip farming in public, I feel like this is when the waters get a little murky, where it's like, I think it is funny, but at the same time, it can be obnoxious and it can be a disgrace. Yeah, when it when it involves people. other people, like that's kind of like crossing the line, bro. Do this shit in your own in your own room, dude. Do this in your own space. You, the second you start involving other people and forcing them to participate, that's when I think it goes too far. Somebody smells like shit! Oh, no. Somebody smells like shit! Like, bro. And it's like, at the end of the day, they are making themselves look like idiots, which that's what makes it funny. But it is being obnoxious in public, you know? But one thing that I do respect about these two is that they always make themselves the butt end of the joke. Because when you try to make someone else the butt end of the joke, that's it never goes well. People start to feel a type of way and people start trying to fight you and stuff like that. And I feel like that's not really their goal. Their goal is just trying to make people laugh, which they do by embarrassing themselves, which I don't think there's really a problem there. Now, there are moments, though, where they do take this clip farming in public too yeah, way far. too far like the situation with bradley martin where basically lacy and ronaldo yeah were yeah hanging out with bradley martin and then during that workout stable ronaldo stole bradley martin's hat and bradley martin told him to give it back and then now brandon now <coughs> this guy took it too far like you you knowingly invited people that are known for cliff farming Right, you knowingly invited them to work out with you. What did you expect though? Like you can't you can't sit here and take it that serious. I think this was an L on his part and just bad judgment. Didn't end up giving it back, so Bradley Martin slapped him. And while I don't think Bradley Martin should have slapped the man, because I mean just look at the size difference from Stable Ronaldo. Not even the size difference, it's just you knowingly invited him.
Bradley Martin. Bradley Martin is a literal behemoth compared to him. Like, that is the mismatch. He's just a child. At the same time, I can't be mad because that's what you get for thinking everyone plays the same way that you do. But other than that, I think they're good at- But he invited him. Only like knowing that's what he does. Mess up and they'll go a little too far. But most of the time, they just try to embarrass themselves. And that's kind of what makes them funny. Now, those are some examples of good clip farmers. But then there's like this whole cesspool of streamers and specifically IRL streamers that they oh bro to, they're the worst dude themselves or they don't even try to like make their streams funny their whole goal is to just harass other people to get around yeah bro hoping that irl streamers are the so worst throw up that clip on twitter and tiktok and it'll go viral that's their main goal you remember how like a year ago these prank irl streamers popping yeah. like crazy and there were those prank youtubers that would actually go out and try to think of a well thought out prank and do it and then there were others that would just go out there and harass random fast food employees that's pretty much how it is with yeah, streaming no. right now and a lot of these bad clip farmers happen to be kick streamers, which is the saddest part because I do think there are good streamers on kick, but a vast yeah. majority of streamers on kick are just... And they're only on kick because obviously there's too much filler on Twitch. So they have to go to a platform that like can... can they, they're more discoverable on that platform. But then you have degenerates that come in their chat and ruin ruin the experience and then they think that they have to do something so extreme to even get popular. It's just a whole back and forth bad for example twitchcon happened like a few weeks ago right and there was this streamer named dbr666 who was an irl streamer and this man was on a twitchcon terrorization run like this man would just go up and kiss random streamers There's that's weird bro. fresh from the fresh and fit podcast oh my god fresh I'm, i watch your show all the time fresh I'm, I'm okay yeah i'm okay oh my god fresh i'm so fresh i love you fresh Fresh, nah, crazy. that's just oh. weird, bro. Fresh? No, I'm a woman, Fresh. Fresh? Oh my god. Fresh, you're so hot in real life. You're so much more hot. Oh my god. Like, bro, that's Would taking it too me, far, bro. Come on, Fresh, please. Would you put me on the roster, Fresh? Fresh. Bro, on, like, fresh, like, like, who watches this, dude? If you watch this, there's something wrong with you, dude. You think this is funny? You're you watch too much Coco Melon. And while I do think fresh and fit are corn balls, going up and kissing them is even more weirder than what they do. Like they're some weirdos, but just going up and kissing them, bro, that's literally sexual harassment in 4K. It's you assault, this dude. And put your lips on him, and he didn't even ask you to. You just did it just because you thought it would be funny. That is not good. This is not content. This is harassment. And there's this other point where he kissed this streamer NMP. And what I will say is that with this, he asked NMP. Why he had not soy? And NMP said yes, so he did kiss him. But then he started going overboard where he just started like kissing him all over and trying to like suck on him and stuff it was just completely oh, oh nick i really like you can i kiss your forehead sure if you want to oh my god why more than one yeah no this is what they do at the twitch con no no that's it's my first do. time it's my first time that's what you do I've, everyone's been asking me to do it it's my first time here okay okay oh 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 all right yeah bro like dude like bro why why do you watch this, bro? Okay, uh, nice to meet you, Wake Wilder. I think. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. This man is just doing way too much. There's another point where he went up to the CEO of Twitch and was saying, oh, oh, you gotta pay your employees just to get a rise out of the CEO so that he can get a W clip to make it seem like, oh my gosh, kick is on top. Oh, sorry. Hey, Dan Crazy, nice to meet you. Me, but this guy is just like this guy's just getting on my nerves man like yeah it's not funny um i just want to talk to you about something if you have a minute i need you to pay your employees because like i feel like no you can't grab my team and that's assault don't grab my stuff get off my stuff don't touch my stuff i didn't touch you i didn't touch him just don't touch my stuff so i'd like you i'd like you to address the situation like, bro. about making your employees work for free do you not believe that's 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 slave labor you make them work for subs but you don't give them anything to work hours and hours while you make all this money off amazon do you not think that's unfair you don't think that's unfair sir oh they're not employees they're slaves correct you're right what's funny is like this man bro. Was talking about twitch streamers when he's saying employees yet i'm pretty sure we all know that these twitch streamers aren't yeah for free. yeah bro. ways to get money
Well, well, the steps to make the money. But I mean, again, bro, no one, no one considers streaming an actual career, like job, unless you're in like the top one percent. Unless you're in the top one percent to where you're actually getting views, you, you can't treat it like a job. Unironically. On Twitch, there's even another point where he went up to the streamer XQC and he goes up to him and talks about how like yo he's gonna suck him off and stuff like that. And it's like bruh. Oh my god. Oh, yo, bro, wearing the Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kick, yeah. What's up, guys? what's up, what's up, what's up? Excuse me, let me I need to suck his Maybe I'll get like wait, that's not gay, bro. It's like it's love, bro. Love is love. Nah, I'm getting his way and sucking his I'm getting on my knees ready for him to I'm getting ready for him, shot. Let me Like bro, this guy this guy is just a pain, bro. Like who watches him? And this guy's getting paid by kick. So that means he has like a concurrent like what what are what are the I looked at these recently incentive program like what do you have to be to do get into the incentive program all right so this guy has over 1500 followers and he has over 500 people in his chat and 20 at least 25 subs why why are people watching him? Who uh, who sits here and laughs at this? Like, what? Like, is this how easy IRL streaming has become? Like, you just need one clip and then people like gravitate to you and stay. But. Cause I only stream on Yeah, bro, like you're not funny, man. I feel like a lot of dudes tell a lot of gay jokes, right? But I feel like Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. There's a difference between joking and not joking. There's a huge difference in in a joke and doing it on purpose so that you can get a clip like this bro it, it's bro where like the gay jokes get too far and like when you're saying, it's not like, even it's not even that the gay jokes get too far it, it's the simple fact that like this guy is going out of his way to, to harass people and and bro like making out with some random dude on the street like you're literally doing it for farming a a clip like dude it's just harassment at this point. Like, this should not... It's like public harassment. Or, uh, uh, what is it called? Disrupting the peace. Like, it's illegal. It's illegal to do this. You're gonna get on your knees and you're gonna suck this man off. And you're literally getting on your knees in the clip. That is way too much. There's this other clip I saw on Twitter where there were these two dudes going around the mall. They were IRL streaming. These two dudes. And they'd go up to people and ask their most traumatic experiences. But when the person would tell them, they'd say womp womp and start clapping. Oh, Can I ask you a question bro. for an interview? Uh, sure. All right. Of course it's on kick, bro. Right. Oh, okay. what's the most traumatic event that you went through in your life? That's a hard one. <laughs> I've been through a lot. Um, right. I would say probably like, uh, when my mom threw a lot of shit around in the apartment. And just... Like, look at their chat, bro. This is this is kick chat, bro. You see a random person and you just want to start like hating. You're lucky that this like bro there's three dudes hanging out in your chat and, and you and you want to act like this for what man like it's not funny this woman didn't pull out the blick on you because i ain't gonna lie bro i feel like that's crazy going up to somebody being like oh what's your most traumatic experience they open up to you and then you start clapping but and see the thing is, is the thing is is like they shouldn't open up to you in the first place like everyone is so centered around content they think if their story is so traumatic 
that they're gonna get the Hawk Tua treatment. Like, bro, I, I, I don't know. Like, it, it's it's on it's on you. It's on you to to just not disclose private information. It's up to you to not disclose private information that you regard as one of your most traumatic experiences and you expect people not to laugh at you. Like, it, it's... Like, there, she's obviously not a creator, right? So, so she's not going into it thinking that people are going to hate on her and, and make, and, and she's going to be the butt of the joke. But to, like, sit here and, and just go womp womp, like, it's not funny. And clearly no one's watching it, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't get it. Womp, well, that is not a good clip. And what's crazy it's is not. this girl's boyfriend spun the block because he wasn't with her the first time, but he spun around, right? And they asked him what was his most traumatic experience. And this is how he responded. Uh, can, can I know like the most? Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Christopher. I'm not shaking your hand. What's my most traumatic experience? I don't know, but I know what yours is. Oh! Oh my god! Now nah, see that's a clip, bro. Now nah, see that's that's the clip that they wanted. That's the clip that they wanted, though. It is deserved, but I I guarantee it. I guarantee it. He's taking that and he's farming that, right? And so now he's just gonna get more views because because people want to come in and see the same exact stuff that just happened. Yeah, they they blew up after just one clip. One clip. I guarantee it. He has way more people in his chat now today than he did before this. Because there was like three people like typing. Now they could have had way more people and only three people were typing. That's 100% you know, normal. But now, now they have more people in there just giving them money because of this one scenario. That is, a, that is like the down, like... Bro, that is IRL streaming. One moment, they blow up, and then now everyone sits in their chat waiting for something like, like this to happen again. Yes, you heard that right. This man hit a Marvel one-liner, then punched the cameraman. That is- I know what yours is. What's crazy is that the dudes that were asking everyone about their traumatic experiences, they ended up wanting to fight the guy, yet they started the whole thing. Grab my phone like that? Hold on. Yo, stay right there. Come on, come outside. Come outside. Come outside, GameStop. Go, go get your little digital clicks and all your bullshit. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm Don't gonna touch, touch me, face. bro. Oh. Come, come outside the but what happened? I'm gonna punch you in your face. Come outside. Come outside then. Come outside. Like, you just don't even have to give in to it, bro. Like, they're gonna get kicked out of the mall anyways. I'm gonna punch you right in your face. Come outside, pussy. And what pisses me off even pussy? more is that the chat pussy? is spamming W clip farming W clip when this isn't a W clip at all. This nope. is just dudes going around messing with people, calling it content. Man, and people like, minding their own business at that too. Since we're on the topic of starting something and getting mad and trying to fight somebody when they want to finish it, there was this other bad clip farmer that I saw on Twitter, right? Where there was this couple, they were kissing in public, and this guy that's just up weird, to the couple and start That's just weird. Why why are you doing that in public though? screaming at them saying get a room and starts telling them that they aren't shit and then the couple ends up getting mad and starts flipping out on the guy because this dude is doing a little too much yeah bro it's DLP like from Nampa stream prime it shows the real you you gotta appreciate your height like bro yeah it's like why are they doing it in public though like i get that they're probably alone and whatnot on this like what what is this a bridge or something this is las vegas this is in Las Vegas, bro. Like you're balding and your pee palm are. Who's gonna stalk who? Who's who gonna stalk him in the face? Do you get what are you doing? You better go. Like, yeah, it's just weird. It's not like they're over there, you know, smashing in front of the city, right? They're yeah, but it, it is weird. Kissing, whatever, right? It's like, like, like bro, like, bro, just peck on the cheek or the lips and then get on with it. You don't gotta sit there and make out in public, you know? You don't gotta be locking lips in the middle of the streets. 
Like, that's just weird to me. And you're never going to guess this. This man ends up pulling out a gun. Oh, my God. The whole issue. She, she's in that grab my phone. Oh, you want it? You want problems? You want problems, too? You want problems? You want problems? You just grab my phone. You just grab my phone. You don't touch my Don't touch my Don't touch my Don't grab my I'll promise you I'll shoot the let let it go don't talk nah bro Sh showing that showing that on stream you're so stupid bro you are so stupid like these are the people that don't deserve a platform they don't deserve anything besides the hate that they're getting like these these are l people bro like oh my god it just shows how, how weak you are it just like nothing is going on. You're not getting pressed. You're not getting anything. She told you. She told you she didn't want her the camera, which again, they shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. But these people shouldn't be doing anything like this. Hey, Joe. None of this would have happened if you just just mind your own business. Mind your own business. I know that's crazy. I know that's crazy to think about. But mind your own damn business. And then you pulling this, bro, it, you, dude, you're you're literally giving them all kinds of information to pile up on you. Like, like who knows that this is even, uh, bro. I promise you, this all happened because he wanted a viral clip. That yeah. is sad. And what's he got it. sadder is that this man got pressed by the man's girl. The dude didn't have nothing to do with this. He was just standing back and observing because he knew his girl could take these two bozos. People on the internet are getting way too comfortable with just disrespecting random people. Yeah. There was no point IRL streamers, bro. Couple when they're not not all. Streaming, bro. You could just walk by and just not even Yeah, mind anything. your own you damn business. And then get mad when they start getting mad at you and then pull out a gun. They did not show that much aggression to the point where you needed to pull out a gun to defend yourself that's just you being soft yeah you are not you are not threatened trend that's pretty big with streaming right now are pred catches you had jiddy on oh bro yeah Gene. you also had vitaly doing pred catches bro vitaly bro oh my god hey dude i feel like this guy fakes his videos like his pred catches he's some of those celebrities being lil pump sway lee and even akon oh my god but there's one thing about these on-stream pred catches that I don't really like, and that's that a lot of these streamers are trying to go for clips rather yeah. than actually trying to put these predators in jail. For example, I was scrolling through Twitter, and I seen this clip of this streamer oiling up a predator. I'm saying predator in quotes because this could most likely be fake. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's most and likely fake. He just let him go, and that was it. He didn't call the cops or anything. He just oiled up a predator, and that was pretty much it. Some oil? Some oil? Some oil? Some oil? This is hot. No, no, chill. This is hot. O oiling you up? This is hot. You know I like this shit, right? I'm horny right now. I'm horny right now for you, daddy. Give me the flower. I'm horny right now for you, daddy. I'm horny for you, daddy. Like, bro, listen, what? Listen. I'm horny for you. I'm horny right now. My dick is hard. My dick is fucking hard. You hear me? You hear me, JP? Like, my dick bro. is hard for you right now. My dick, my dick is hard. Oh my goodness. You're sick, bro. You're sick in the head. You're sick in the head. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Grab your stuff and go. This is one million percent assault, and he can sue them for that. That it has to be fake. If I was this dude, I'd be suing, bro. I don't even care. I don't care what you what you have to say about me, bro, and my character. Uh, someone does this shit to me, bro, I'm suing. Grab your stuff and go. And if it is fake, then that just makes they gave him a haircut. Worse because these dudes are doing pred catches for the sake of clips rather than doing it for. The and that's all. That's all kick is really, bro. It's just who can catch the most predators in a day. Society. They're not trying to get these predators in jail. They just want to do it to make themselves look good so they can go viral on Twitter. That is terrible. Now, and that guy 100% is fake because they gave him a haircut, bro. 
Like, dude, it, even even if I was the dude that all this was getting done to, if I didn't if I didn't accept this, bro, I'd be calling calling the cops, bro. Would somebody act like a predator willingly? That's dumb. Desperate times come for desperate measures. If you go up on the street and ask a homeless guy to act like a predator, he's probably gonna do it. And if this yeah. is real, the slight chance that this is real, they just let this predator go. Just yeah, it's not real. Oh yeah, we're just gonna oil you up a bit, and then boom, you can leave. They gave him a haircut. That's all they shaved his and head. And now this man is just gonna go around and touch more kids like this is just dumb i think this is fake i genuinely think it's fake it's 100 percent fake real, i would hope that they would call the police and do this pred catch the right way rather than trying to farm a that's so why that's why pred catches i think that some of skeeter john are probably fake not all 100 oh, percent 100 percent some of his are fake uh, he's just doing it for clout but like jideon jideon does it the right way and so does skeeter john but jideon's is a little bit more wild and i i don't think i'm okay with that like Skeeter Skeeter John, he does it the right way. Like perfectly executed. Probably a handful of them that probably are fake, and he just hired some actors or grabbed a homeless yeah. man off the street just for the sake of his content. I mean, the man literally beat women. You don't think this man would fake a pred catch? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Obviously, there is some footage of his that shows predators from his streams actually going to court and stuff like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of these were faker than Kim K's Badonka Donk. I ain't gonna lie. Now, all that being said, in conclusion, I personally don't think that clip farming is bad. Like, I think there's not all of it. The amount that you have to do in order to grow on twitch and kick but when you're doing these unethical things like faking pred catches harassing random people and sexually harassing streamers yeah in order to get clips i think that's when we got to draw the line when it's like okay streamers now, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, clip farming. just don't do it to all these random innocent people you know and because like and, and like that really falls that really falls on on the viewers bro like you guys are watching this you guys are like in uh, you guys are giving them the incentive that they want to keep making content like that gonna be somebody which i god forbid this happens but it should be banned on platforms to do something like this bro. because somebody just tries the wrong person and i hope that doesn't happen at all that's why i think clip farming isn't bad but we got to tone it down a little bit sometimes there are points where these streamers are going that to is true. too far but let me know what you guys think in the comment section i below. agree all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you twitch camera wik discord link in the description if you guys i agree this bro video, then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video it'll be right up here on the yo tiktok bro oh my god uh, i 100 percent agree with this statement it goes too far uh eventually it's gonna get to a point to where it is it is beyond beyond all like beyond everything and i think that's a major a major turning point for like irl streaming uh yeah it, that's uh, crazy yeah